karma, ladies and gentlemen. Do you believe in karma? Well, what I mean is, if, if you do good things, then good things will happen to you. Um, but equally, as it is a double-edged sword, if you do bad things, bad things will also happen to you. Well, what I wanted to talk to you today is about karma. And if you do bad things, bad things will happen to you too. Now you may or may not have watched a video I did not too long ago. Um, being the big massive Aston Villa fan that I am. And my absolute disgust towards a certain Fabian Judas Delph on his way to Manchester City after saying that he's loyal to Aston Villa. As you can imagine, I'm not the only Aston Villa fan that was very upset by this statement. And the... Uh, the transfer that soon followed. But, as I was saying about karma, Fabian Delft did what he had to do and labelled himself as a complete and utter cunt. And that goes right across the world of football. I've had uh, supporters of other football teams, even supporters of my main rivals of Birmingham City. I've had supporters of them saying what the whole Fabian Delph saga was just absolutely disgusting you know he has labelled himself as an absolute and utter cunt across the boards of everybody you know what he's done is unforgivable as I said in that video there's a lot of people say oh it's just a game Ooh more to life than football and you know you're quite right there is but when your life is literally consisting of work for five days a week you know you need something to take your mind off everything and for me that's being out on the motorbike and football and following my team Aston Villa now I'm not saying that football is everything. Football is not everything. It's not life and death. It, you know, but you know, it, it gets me by. It keeps me occupied when there's nothing else to do on at three o'clock on a Saturday. But I just wanted to talk to you about Fabian Delph and the karma that he has brought upon himself. Now he played. Um, his first game for Manchester City. It was just a friendly. So on his debut for Manchester City, he played against Real Madrid. Now he was in the starting eleven, which you know we most people are quite surprised at, but. That being said, Manchester City have got a lot of players out at the moment because of the Copper America. So of course you'll get game time when all those midfielders aren't playing. The game kicked off 18 minutes into the first game that he plays in a light blue shirt for Manchester City. He gets stretchered off the pitch because he's pulled his left hamstring. Now, to me, that just says, that just screams karma. You know, you thought you were going to Manchester City to improve your football. You went there for a footballing reason. No bollocks, you went there for fucking money. And in your first game, you've been put on the sick for however long it's gonna be until you recover. Oh, I just think it's hilarious. It's just fucking f stupidly funny. Welcome to Manchester, Fabian. Now, I don't know how long he's going to be out for. 
but that is inevitably him booking his place on the bench as I said in that first video because when he's back playing back to his 100% fitness whenever that will be all the other players will be back and playing and because these are world class players Fabian Delph is not going to play again I just think it's hilarious I've got nothing more to say on it it's just you're a cunt if you're a cunt cuntish things will happen to you and funnily enough absolutely nobody in the footballing world is going to be sympathetic of your little pulled hamstring now Fabian you brought this on yourself this is the definition of karma so enjoy your life on the bench at Manchester City because now you've had an injury you're never ever going to be but be playing again it's as simple as that anyway guys please like please subscribe and please share this video with all your other Villa friends and football friends and you know and I will catch you next time hopefully with an even better story about how he's broken his leg next time hopefully but I think we'll wait until November the 7th Kieran Clark can break his leg anyway guys don't forget share with everybody because there's more than enough math to go around and I'll catch you next time ta-da